All right, guys, here we are, and we're ready to install our receiver, okay? This, uh, this set of cable right here in the back, coming from the back of the flight controller, this is our receiver cable. And as you can see, it will snap right into our receiver just like this, okay? Now, what we're gonna wanna do is, it's gonna leave us a little bit of wire here. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our receiver is sitting properly. So let's go ahead and we're gonna fasten it to the bottom of this frame, just like that, okay? And now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your zip ties, all right? And we're basically going to zip tie this receiver to the frame, just like this. You're gonna go out and then come back in this way, the, this way, the buckle of the zip tie is inside the frame and not outside. Move your, you can move your antenna out of the way for just a second, okay? And you're gonna make sure your XT60 cable is kind of out of the way too. And here's what we're gonna do. Once we've got that, we're just going to basically clamp this zip tie in, just like this, okay? Place your receiver where you want it and tighten it down. Now, be very careful right here on your receiver. On this particular receiver is a bind button. Okay, this is the button that you press when you want this to bind to your radio. Do not zip tie over your bind button, whether you have this receiver or any, button, any other receiver. Do not zip tie over the bind button. You do not want it to be accidentally pressed during flight or your drone will probably come crashing down. So once you've got it in place, just go ahead and tighten that zip tie down and then cut the zip tie just like this. Okay. Now your receiver's in place, your XT30 cable can fold over that, your antenna's perfect, everything's good. And as far as these wires go, you can just basically take them and you can just fold them a couple times, just like this, just to keep them out of the way. If you have extra zip ties, you're more than welcome to use them to zip tie that closed. But once you just kind of put them here, they should stay pretty good, okay? Just like that. So now all your wires are contained inside, all right? And you should be uh, good to go. Now, one thing you can do is if on your camera wire, is if you want to feed this through or you want it to wire it to where it stays inside the frame, just like this, then you can easily feed it through under the VTX, okay? Or you can unscrew the VTX and put it back on. And let me show you what that would look like if you want to um, bring the wires inside, okay? Let me show you how we do that. Just to keep it a little cleaner, perhaps. But I also want you to be able to monitor the wires and see how they're going. So you can take this and don't kink it too much, but you can take this and bring it in. And you can put your VTX back on, you see? and everything stays inside just like that. And then you can screw this, you can screw these back down, all right? So just go ahead and put those back down. I'm gonna use my um, socket set here to screw that back down. This makes it a little easier for this, all right? I think I dropped one of them inside my frame here. No, they're all out now, okay, so. And that's just, just once you get done building, and sometimes um, it helps to be able to see them laying out first so you know exactly how they go. But then if you want to start cleaning it up, you can start tucking these away. There's three, and then here's the fourth one, just like that. Okay, now all your wires are tucked inside, and you can easily just bring your camera back, plug it in, just like this. Okay. All right. Now, you have two more zip ties left and there's gonna be some heat shrink as well. I'm gonna show you how to do that because that's what we're gonna do with these wires. They're gonna go through and we're gonna zip tie up to here, okay? So I'm gonna show you how that works. But for right now, um, we're going to now stop here. Make sure everything looks just like this. You have your antenna ready. You have your wires back here. You have your XT30 here. And we're gonna, I need to seat my camera back in. Let me do that real quickly. Once I seat it in, uh, I may tighten it down. I don't really want to tighten the camera until I put the top plate on because it may need some wiggle room as well when I'm putting the top plate. So let's just see. But if you find that it's kind of like popping out every time, then you can tighten it down just a little bit. All right. And don't worry if it angles forward. Once we tighten this, the, the camera angle will be perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do now is now that we're done with the receiver, the receiver itself is done. We've just got some final touches, which is going to be putting the top on, wiring down these antennas, um, and zip tying those and getting the camera in place. So we'll be right back. Let me get all my tools put aside here. Put the Allen wrench away and take these two small screws off the table. All right, guys, and we'll be right back to put the top on and get done. 